All right, so when we actually start talking about the arteries and veins of the heart, we're going to mostly look at the heart model, G12, the large heart. Um, we can begin with looking at the left coronary artery, okay? You'll notice most of these are groups as uh, 7, 8, 9, or 10. So 7 were the various parts of the aorta, all right? And then if we look at, I'm going to take it off the uh, stand here. Bear with me one second. All right, if you did not realize, the models do slide off. Okay, so you can see, for example, uh, these veins all have something with 10, like 10A. All right, um, you can see number 9C and 9A, these arteries that are all connected together. So all the arteries that are labeled as part of 9, all the veins as part of 10, have some relationship with one another. They start with the same uh, original trunk, all right? Um, and because this is part of systemic circulation, we are dealing with blue veins and red arteries. Uh, remember, pulmonary circulation is going to be flipped. It's going to be the opposite. All right, so the left coronary artery is going to be all of 9, A, B, and C. So on a test, I would list all of those together and say this entire uh, area, this, this large artery, 9, A, there's 9, C, and you can see 9, B coming across. Specifically, 9, B is a circumflex artery. All right, you see it coming across. Uh, 9A is the anterior intraventricular artery, so coming down here. And this branch of it, uh, uh, 9C, right, we actually are not going to have to learn. All right? Um, and then if we want to talk about the marginal artery, okay, and the posterior, in, posterior intraventricular artery, we're going to look at uh, number 8, okay? So you can see it coming down here on this side from the aorta, number 8. All right, so the right coronary artery is going to be this main uh, trunk area where the eight, is, is, uh, the eight itself is labeled. Um, 8A is going to be the posterior, in, posterior interventricular artery. So as you notice, some of these you're going to have to move around to actually see where each uh, branch comes. So see that all of this is still part of eight. We're on the posterior, really the inferior view of the heart. And you can see 8A. That's the posterior, in, posterior interventricular artery. Okay, um, 8B right here, this other branch, okay, um, is basically where we'll find the marginal artery. That was not originally labeled on your uh, sheet. Okay, that's the marginal artery. Um, and then next we're going to look at some of the veins uh, on number 10. So you can see if we look from the back where the, the, the vena cava, the, the inferior vena cava come in, all right, we're going to find number 10. That's the coronary sinus. Okay, we're going to drain these veins coming from the heart itself back into um, this atria. Um, so the great cardiac vein is 10A. All right, so you can see it coming across here, this continuation. Um, the middle cardiac vein is labeled because it's right in the middle. Okay, 10C. And then we have uh, 10B, which is going to be the small cardiac vein. All right, so there's the great cardiac vein, 10A. All right, and then over here on this side is going to be 10B, all right, the small cardiac vein. So the great cardiac vein is going to be on the anterior side, 10A. All right, the middle cardiac vein, which is 10C, um, is going to be right here in the middle of the, the, the inferior kind of posterior view. And then 10B, the small cardiac vein, um, is going to be over here, kind of on the side. 